What's up, best friends? My name is Brian Beach, and today we're talking zero trust, specifically user to application segmentation. You're getting off that old VPN, you're moving towards zero trust architecture. So what does that look like? Well, first, first things first, right? We come over here and say, we have the ability to kind of import the applications that you know about, make life easy. Now, chances are you're gonna have a lot more than just two applications. So we're just gonna start right here. And then we have our work from anywhere population and work from anywhere. And we really wanna stress this it means at home, at Starbucks, abroad, and even in the office, but they have an agent that runs on there. We call it Zscare Client Connector. And long story short, this traffic goes directly towards the Zero Trust Exchange. And then how do we get traffic back down over here? Now we have a VPN because that's silly. We have the good old Zscare Application Connector, not to be confused with any connect because it's not that. So let's make sure that this is on the internal network. You can talk to all your internal applications. And last but not least, it doesn't listen for anything. It reaches outbound to the Zero Trust Exchange. So this is kind of the first step. Step number two is you thought you knew everything, but it turns out your employees, they have a lot more applications out there than you ever knew about. So maybe there's like a document management system that's out there. And I'll understand port and protocol and all that good stuff. Uh, perhaps you have like a ERP of some nature. Uh, and last but not least, maybe you have like a, a supply chain management system that's out there. And again, since this is on the internal network, I start to dynamically discover all of these applications. And it just means that my little app connector can talk to these applications, keep the business going and get visibility. Now, the challenge here is that not all users are created equal. And by leveraging AI, I can look at all the users traffic that's coming through there. And I always see the groups, departments, and locations that they're associated with. And what that means is I can come over here and start marrying policy based upon their identity, that user to application segmentation. So I come over here and I look at groups and I can come out real quick and find out like maybe application one should be available to anyone and everyone. So maybe that's like a, a general one. A group attribute that everyone has. But then maybe I find out that application two is like really specific to just sales, right? And I can look at it through that lens. Then I can come over here and be like the document management system. Uh, maybe that's just the legal team only. And the ERP is going to be, I don't know, finance. And last but not least, the supply chain management is going to be. Uh, like the operations team. So these are all group attributes I'm going to hone in on. So let's pick this apart. What this really means is that you're going to have a policy in here. And we'll pick on the DMS application. So before, there's a rule that comes in there and says, you know, basically any user can come in and talk to DMS, but it turns out that's like maybe 10,000 people in that scenario could actually talk to it. But based off of the traffic patterns that we're seeing, DMS is just the legal team only. And so we're gonna change this from like this user uh, group attribute of anyone that can talk to it and say, hey, it can only be a legal user talking to the document management system and it takes that attack service from 10,000 people that could potentially talk to it and narrow it down to like maybe 70. And when we make these suggestions, we give you a risk score, right? We say, hey, there is a certain tolerance, there's a certain certainty that if you put this rule in, that's gonna uh, have an impact. We would know in this particular situation that you put this rule in, that 100% of the people are still gonna be happy. So when we look at the zero trust exchange and leveraging AI, it's kind of threefold. Number one, bring in the applications. Two, dynamically discover it. And then three, leverage AI to help with the policy to take it from this wide net to a very narrow focus. And with that said, that's my time. Thank you for watching.